This morning, a reporter for the Weekly Standard went to the World War II Veterans Memorial and said that the barricades were actually wired together. Who is ordering the National Park Service to go to such great lengths to shut down the open-air World War II Memorial that is usually unguarded? On Tuesday, Carol Johnson of the National Park Service said that the White House's Office of Management and Budget sends everything down to all the other departments, that they are part of the interior. The interior gives the orders and instructions. It's a privately funded park. Can you say overreaching government? <laughs> the NSA's attack on the internet need to be made public. I mean, Let's face it, they're spying on us. We should know what they're up to. Today, The Guardian is reporting on how the NSA targets Tor users, along with details of how it uses centrally placed servers on the internet to attack individual computers. This builds on a Brazilian news story from last week that in part shows that the NSA is impersonating Google servers to users. A German story on how the NSA is hacking into smartphones and a Guardian story from two weeks ago on how the NSA is deliberately weakening common security algorithms, protocols, and products. The NSA is subverting the Internet and turning it into a massive surveillance tool. There's a surprise. The NSA's actions are making all of us less safe because its eavesdropping mission is degrading its ability to protect the United States. And with that, Adobe says that their user data was actually compromised. Another massive corporate data raid, millions, millions more user accounts and login credentials and payment details potentially compromised. And the top secret source code is on the loose. According to Adobe, the hackers accessed the credit card information of around 3 million customers as well as, as the login information of an unknown number of customers. Adobe concurs in its security announcement, writing that it's dispatching emails to anyone whose account was potentially compromised. Again, this is something that leads right into our issue with Obamacare and why McAfee said that Obamacare is a hacker's wet dream. And you can see why. They're putting all this information into a federal data hub, and hackers love this kind of stuff. They want to get in there. They want to steal your information. You can be sure your information is safe with us on PrisonPlanet.tv because we won't share your information. But you can share your information. You can share your username and password with up to 10 people. Alex Jones here to warn you about some of the most important health information you may ever hear. I'm talking about radiation, radioactive fallout, radioactive particles contaminating the Northern Hemisphere. Conservatively, since the 1940s, the Northern Hemisphere of our planet has more than doubled its background radiation. In fact, that was before Fukushima exploded. Now the levels are going up and up and up. Fish are contaminated in the Pacific, and the FDA, the EPA, and others, they're not worried about it. They've been raising the levels of what they claim is safe radioactive particles. So after more than two years of research into how to protect my family, looking at all the literature, talking to the experts, across the board they agreed, iodine is key, but of the family of iodine, nascent, natural, non-GMO, non-factory iodine that comes from the earth is absolutely paramount for your thyroid and other functions in the body. The literature, the research, it's there. It's not my opinion. It is admitted that iodine is essential for the health of our bodies overall and nascent iodine is the best form. 
Now, we're announcing the launch of InfoWarsLife.com, and we're going to bring you scores of products over the next few years that we're researching and developing. But nascent iodine is the first product we're coming out with because it's so important, and it's also listed as a fluoride detoxer. It does so many other things. Your body needs it, and when you don't have enough iodine, forget the radiation, your thyroid absorbs the sodium fluoride and other things. Nascent iodine and InfoWars Life Survival Shield in double strength at half the cost of the leading competitors. Please visit InfoWarsLife.com today.